How's it going on, guys? Welcome back to another episode. I say that every time, but I'm really thankful that you guys tuned in to you know, check me out again. So I figured while I was out here working on uh, my engine, taking things off of my old engine, you know, oil pump, and because it's a pretty new oil pump on this one. I'm going to take it off and I'm going to put it on the other one. So just taking things like my oil pump and the windage tray off of this bad boy, and I'm going to put it on that bad boy. Ooh, so pretty. S uh, stop block, old reliable, you know, old tire, I should say. Hot new freshness. Old tired, but still fresh and clean. Because, uh, look at that. That oil pump. Mm. Good. But man, that's pretty. No cylinder walls, look nice. Anyway. So while I'm out here, I figure I would talk about uh, piston rings and connector rods a bit. So the biggest thing that people should do when they're going to be running a lot of boost, trying to make a lot of power on these LS motors, is definitely, definitely, definitely gap your piston rings. Okay, a lot of people they don't check them if you got high mileage because they're worn out, which you know is fine. You know, but, right. so first thing you want to do. When you get your piston out of the block, right? So I'm imagine some spare one that's out of the block, and you're gonna file these rings, all right? So this is how I take it off. Just take one off the side, lift one end up, and just bring it around. All right, you do the second one the same way. You lift one end up and bring it up to the top groove, like that, and work it around. You know, it might get a little stuck, but you gotta get there. There we go. You gotta get it out first. There we go. Work to the top, and then the same thing, this one, and bring it around. All right, well, I'm gonna leave that one on now because we're only gonna talk about one. All right, you know, I ain't using these pistons no more. I might make a trophy or something out of them. All right, so I set this here because we're gonna come back to that later. You're gonna need it. Let's set down right here. All right, so these piston rings, you always come with a dot on it right here. And that dot indicates facing up. So when you get ready to put it on, make sure uh, that piston ring is facing up, all right? And also, when I put my piston rings back together and put it back on, uh, when I put it back on the piston, I make sure that the gaps between the two rings, well, I try to do all the rings, but most importantly, the two rings are not lined up. So I'll put this gap on this side, and I'll put the other gap on the other side. Because you don't want them lined up, okay? It kind of defeat the purpose of it. You know, and you have a tremendous amount of blow by if they lined up, all right? And your oil and rain, we don't touch those. Just well, I don't. I just leave it on. All right. So let's go and check out how to file it. Great. So uh, we are going to file this ring really fast, and but not too fast. Okay. Just want to make sure you get it perfect. So what you do is you put your ring on your ring file. Get this from Summit for about 50, 60 bucks. All right, so you got these two prongs up here. What you want to do is slide your ring all the way up. Now, you can either file it by pressing both of them together and holding it like this and spinning it. What I like to do, since it's kind of difficult to hold both of them, is I'll butt one side up against the filing mechanism. Make sure it's flat. And then just turn it. Give it a couple turns. Then I take it off and I hit it with some uh, brake cleaner or something and clean this off, get all the debris off of it. And then we go check. What I want to do next, I still do the same thing. I just, just get used to it. Look at that dot. I put it in there. So what I do, I put it in. Now I use my piston that came out of that hole and I try to push it down some. Now you can take that second ring off 
to push it down further in the board. The, they say the further you go on the board, the more true reading you'll get because up top, it may be distorted a little bit because, you know, that's where your combustion is primarily taking place is at the top of the board. So, you know, you take the second ring off and you can push it down a little, fur a little further. So, again, we'll take it off. Oh, push it down a little further. All right. And then you take your feeler gauge, and then you just put it in the hole or in the slide. See which one. Is, see which one fits. That one don't fit. So you just keep going till you find the one that fits in there. Okay, that one fits. That one fits, and that is a. That's point twenty. Next one up is 21. So let's see if the 21 would fit. 21 fits. All right, so you got to get it in there. Let's get it in there so 21 fits. And let's see if 22 would fit. See, 22 fits. 24. Don't fits too. So it's probably 25. That's probably one that I got. But... You kind of get the process, you know, you keep going, figure out what you want, and you file a little bit off, check it, and if it's good, you put it back on the piston. If it's not good where you want it, if it's still too small, you pull it back out, go back to the grinding wheel, grind it a little bit more, then come back, push it back in, measure again. Just don't overdo it. That's why you go slow. Because if you overdo it, then you're just going to have a gap with a bigger than what you want. You know, slightly bigger is okay, but, you know, if you go 5,000 <laughs> bigger, yeah, that's probably a bit too much. All right, so that's just a little bit on piston rings that we're going to talk about. Um, the other thing that I mentioned that what most people don't know is your connecting rod from the factory. Okay, this is a Gen 3 rod. Right, and most people don't know is that what some of these rods, well, most of them, if I'm not wrong, but I believe most of them are forged rods from the factory. They all may not be forged, but it's just when you say forged, it's just the process of how they shape the material. Okay, you can it can be shaped from a cast, uh, it can be shaped by forging, or you have a billet. Um, which I mean, billet is pretty much you got a hunk of metal, you cut what you want out of it. Um, cast could be a cast mold, and you uh, pour the very hot metal into that cast, and it forms from uh, that mold, that cast, all right? And then uh, forging is almost like uh, forging. Think about blacksmiths from back in the day, okay? Blacksmiths from back in the day, they beaten, shaping that metal into what they want. That's forging it, making it what you want it. So, you know, cast, got hot metal, liquid-ish form, pour it into a mold, forge, you making it, beating it, you know, molding the actual piece that of you want into what you want. Um, and then billet, you got a hunk of metal, just a big hunk of metal, just a block. And then you're cutting what you want out of that block. And, you know, billet can be from different materials as well. Just the term billet, um, you know, could be of different metal, but billet itself is just pretty much a process of how you shape. Well, I just wanted to, you know, uh, make a quick another short video. And uh, again, I, your thank you, you know, just for tuning into my video and taking time out of your day to watch some of the, you know, stuff I'm doing, you know. It, it may not even be right, but hey, we're gonna try it and see what happens anyway. So. 
you know, if you haven't already, go ahead and comment, like, and subscribe again. And let me know what you're working on down in the comment section. And hopefully, uh, this short video shed a little bit of light on, you know, uh, piston rings, gapping them, how you measure them, or how I measure them. You know, it seems to work okay for me. I haven't had a problem. Um, and a little bit of the connecting rods and that forging process, the billet process, that cast process. So now if you're running the stop bottom end, if anybody asks, you got forged rods, they can say, yeah, you probably do got forged rods in there because it's the process of how they make those pistons.